I still have the same hopes as when I got diagnosed, to be the first person to beat MND. But I'm also realistic and know that time is ticking away. Furthermore I gave permission to use my DNA for future research on MND. Okay, he was just a tremendous uh, individual, you know, he, he fought bravely for a debilitating uh, illness and uh, it just brings back some great memories, you know, you find it extremely difficult to talk about, uh, you know, the, the, the recent times with Fernando, um, but just a great guy. He was a great football player, he's a fighter, he's a, he's a, he's a strong character, um, yeah, he's a hothead and uh, he always showed that, uh, that he wanted to do anything to, to, to win. And, For me, it's a little bit easier because all of the Dutch players are here, and uh, the Dutch coach and the Dutch people are around the club, and the second of all, uh, the Champions League also attractive. And um, of course, of uh, Glasgow Rangers, one of the biggest clubs, uh, I think in whole Britain or something like that. He was a winner, always getting into tackles, noising up the opposition. But I love that, that's the way I was. And if, if you're a true winner the way Fernando was, that's the way you had to be to get success. The former Rangers star, Fernando Rickson, has revealed he's suffering from the muscle-wasting condition motor neuron disease. During an emotional interview on Dutch television, the 37-year-old footballer clearly struggled to speak. Uh, every day I wake up, I have to bring Bella to school. I bring her to school and I come back home and I don't know what to do. I can't find myself because he's not home and I don't know what to do without him. Sitting. 